Ah, shit. God damn it, shit. What's wrong? Got another bill from Tax Canada. Oh, no. For how much? I don't know. Thirteen dollars and three cents. Thirteen dollars and three cents. Sam, we can afford that. That son of a bitch, Lauren Goldstein. He took all that stuff from me, and now this is what I get? Oh, just pay it, Sam. It's so petty. But when you're not being petty. The guy's a weasel. Well, wait, wait a minute. Isn't that uh, uh, your friend Miriam's dad? Yeah. Yeah, it's his friend's father, Sam. So I'm not blaming her. Oh, look at this. Sheldon's report card. Okay, Josh, give it. You're hiding something. I just don't want you handling it. Ooh, it's very suspect, Sheldon. Maybe I should uh, open it. Huh? Josh, come on, give it. Stop being a jerk. Oh, you do have something to hide. You joking? Let me see it. You cheated. I, did, I didn't cheat. Your lowest mark is a 95? Sheldon. Lowest. See, the point, Sheldon, is to not be so obvious. Oh, thanks, Josh. I'll remember that. But that is incredible, sweetheart. What was the 95 in? Biology. Crap. You got 100% in three subjects. I got 100% once. Wasn't your teacher arrested? No detail. I'm so proud of you, Sam. Look. Yes. Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. That's good. That's good. good. Your son's a prodigy. He got a 98% average. No, it's good oh, work. That's good work. Marvelous. Okay, stop staring at me. Stop. Stop staring. And up above us all, leaning into sky. A golden business boy will watch the north end die and sing I love this town then let his arcing wrecking ball proclaim I hate Winnipeg Don't speak. Okay. How are the cords? They okay? Yeah. They feeling sore, huh? Yeah, a bit. I just want to make sure, you know? Got to be ready. Oh, right. Josh Blecker is an actor now. Actually, Josh Blair now. Excuse me? Josh Blair? How's the acting career coming? Uh, okay. It's Winnipeg, so, you know, slim pickings. Why don't you do movies? Yeah, that's the dream. Wait! I know a director. Who? Jerry Spiegel. He's a great director. I don't know him. Is he in town? Yes, he's a foot specialist at the hospital. He directed Brigadoon in college. Oh, you guys got to get together and talk. Yeah, I'll, I'll look him up. So what do I got to do? Dad, it's careers day. You just I sit know. in the classroom and talk to whatever students show up about your work. I do that? I have to do that now? No. Today? No. Today is orientation. You do it tomorrow. Uh, I, you know, it sounds very complicated to me. I, 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 I don't know what you wrote me into here. You can skip it if you want. No, I'm not going to skip it. What, what, do you, what do you do, too? What are you going to do? I'm volunteering for Mr. Lube so I can only attend one of the sessions. You're Thank volunteering you. today or tomorrow or both, both days? Both days. I'm volunteering okay. both days. All right. Um, and I'm not sure who I'm going to go see, though. There's a neurosurgeon, Miss City Potter, and I can't decide. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Hmm. What? No, I was, just, I was just thinking where the brains in the family comes from before you came along. Dad, it's one report card. Yeah, because I never got a report card like that. Oh, crap. I'm late. I'm hitting a yoga class today. I don't know. You're going to hurt yourself again. Oh, Annie, I am loving the attention I'm getting from the new yoga instructor. It's good for me. That one with his hands all over you? They're not all over me. He's just adjusting my poses. Mm -hmm. He just he takes his time. And I like it. Oh, is there a mystery meeting today? No, tomorrow. I have been imagining this day would come for a long time. I get a mysterious call from Jack's girlfriend. She tells me Jack's cheating on her, too. She weeps, I console, and my ass looks amazing. No denying it. You're in great shape. The yoga's great. Hey, you know what? You should come with me. Really? You think I need it? No, 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 no. But it couldn't hurt. Yeah. I'm going to do it. 
We need two greeters. The job is greeting our parent speakers at the school doors and directing them to the classrooms. You get to wear these nifty vests. Excellent. Refreshments, very important. The coffee pot must be truly bottomless. A job that requires both timing and vigilance. Terrific. Okay, next up, signage. Excellent handwriting, absolutely essential. I'll do it. I only need the one. Oh, then it's mine. Why is it yours? If you have to ask, then it's mine. The, ah, that doesn't even make sense. Bad. Mr. Lube. Come on, fellas. One of you step aside. My God, Derek, are you actually holding your breath? No. <laughs> Take it. Thank you, Shelton. Okay, last job, two brave volunteers. Washroom patrol, it's a boy-girl proposition. You are spot-checking the washrooms. Bring on the filth. Sheldon, you are a hero. Ugh. We need a female volunteer. Miriam, put your hand up. What? Hand up. <laughs> Excellent, you are on washroom duty. But why me? Because you put your hand up. <laughs> Go fuck yourself! Coming up from the ground, flowing, up through your leg. Okay. Move your weight onto your heel. That's it. Breathe. Keep the legs supple. Don't lock the knee. Good. Open your glutes. Good. 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 Now, release. I'll try that one again. Good, good, good. Brandt, if this is decaf, you're a dead man. Hello? Is this Josh Blair? Yeah. Did I get the name right? Who's this? It's Dr. Silverstein. Oh, hey, what's up? I have a job for you. An acting job. Really? Yes, as a standardized patient. You learn the symptoms of a medical condition and then answer med students' questions. Oh, yeah, I'm going to say no thanks, because that's not really acting. That's like saying stuff that's on paper. Isn't that what actors do? No, there's a lot more to it, actually. OK, it's just an idea. I thought you might want to earn some extra cash. What? It pays? How much? You don't want to do it for love? I honor my craft by valuing it. It's 18 an hour. I'm in. Miriam has apologized, but I still feel somewhat troubled by that outburst. Yeah, I think something's bothering her. Well, yes, exactly. I pressed very gently on the subject, but she did not want to speak about it. She can be that way. Well, see, I didn't know that. You do. I think you need to step up for your friend. So you're saying I should do what exactly? Maybe she will be more comfortable unburdening herself to a group of peers. I mean, as the saying goes, if you're a Dutchman, don't send a Frenchman to spy on the Germans. Wait, who do you send? Another German, of course. That's a saying people use? Oh, yes. <laughs> hear it all the time. Oh, hey, Sheldon. Miriam, I didn't see you guys here. Weird. Mind if I join you? Please. It's whatever. Oh, hey, guys. Didn't see all of you. Just here. down already. Hey, guys. I didn't see you. All right, enough already. Just leave. OK. Michael wasn't with us. Is this like an intervention or something? No, it's just, you know, three of us noticed that you seemed not you, so. Yeah, and I apologize. Can we move on? Don't you want to talk about it? No, I don't. You'll feel better. I doubt it. OK, look, Miriam. When I found out what happened to my dog, I almost lost my mind. 
but the only thing that saved me was sharing my feelings with Michael. Yeah, it's not the most reassuring example. He's a good friend, okay? I remember when I failed the ballet school audition, I was so embarrassed. I couldn't tell anyone at school. I moped and cried for like months. So who did you tell? I'm telling you now. Okay. I'm sorry, that's terrible. Thanks. What happened to your dog? He had a, a degenerative hip disease, so he couldn't walk. We had to carry him in and out of the house to do his business. So we took him from vet to vet to vet to vet. He had like 16 operations. And then finally, after the last one, he was okay. He was fine, there was no pain. He could actually walk. And then the next day, he ran away. That's so sad. Well, thanks for listening, guys. I'll see you later. Fantastic. I bet you did. Mm, thanks for inviting me. I didn't send you an engraved card. I just said you could come with. You were free to say no. Honey, what's wrong? Oh, you're kidding. That man practically raped you, Anne. And you seem to like it. Clara, he was just adjusting me. Oh, please. Adjusting is just yoga for finger banging. Hey, what? You're not going to stand there, Annie, and tell me that you have no idea what you were up to. What do you think I was up to? Taking away the attention of somebody I liked first. Oh, that's ridiculous. No, it was Simon Entwistle all over again. Who was Simon Entwistle? Yet you don't remember. My junior prom date? What you did? Oh, now I'm really angry. You know, I don't have the energy to remember every little slight. Oh, so I'm thin-skinned, huh? But you're not a, a, a slutty. Oh, you get out of my kitchen. Oh, you know what? You always do this. You are so selfish. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, well, you're... Welcome all to Kim Campbell High. Thank you so much for coming and volunteering. I can say from my own personal experience that it was at a career night in grade 12 when I found my vocation. I remember vividly being in a classroom much like this one when the door flew open and in came a teacher. And he spoke about teaching. So I became a teacher. Anyway, let's... Uh, Start the orientation. Uh, you're late, Mr. Goldstein. I apologize. No, no. I'm sorry, I was only joking. I'm not taking attendance. Please, take a seat. And let's move on. Career day. Well, career night, I suppose, because it's in the... has to be in the evening because of the, all of the careers which you will be speaking about at night, career day, evening. Well, let's begin. Mr. Smith, I understand you were in an accident. Yeah, it's a friggin' horse kicked me in the head. No, honey, it says here I was in a car accident. Hey, whatever, a uh, friggin' car accident. Uh, and Mr. Smith, how fast were you traveling? I don't know. Oh, good. What? No, that, I don't know. That's the answer you're supposed to get. Okay, good. Uh, move on. I knew that. Okay, are you experiencing any pain? What? Oh! 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 Hey, Colton. Got your little note. I'm sorry? I got your little note, the bill for 13 bucks. Those are generated by a computer in Canada, Ontario. Yeah, well, what is it supposed to be? Some kind of some kind of last little shot after you clean me out? You want to talk it? to me about this right here? And our kids. You school? sent this to my home. It's $13. Why don't you just pay it? Why don't you pay it, Weasel? What'd you call me? You, you prick! Please, stop it! I'll smash your face! Stop it now! Hey. Whoa. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, well, I never actually thought this meeting would really happen. Well, I hope it's not too much trouble. Oh, well, I can't stay long. I have a date. You have a date this afternoon? Yes, 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 I do. Okay. 
Well, oh, this isn't easy. Go on. Oh, this is about Jack, isn't it? He's cheating on you, isn't he? No! We're getting married! Married? We're going to be related. Related? No, no, you're marrying my ex-husband. We are not gonna be related, you airhead. We're not? No, no, we're not. Oh, I'm so sorry. Well, at least you can still make your date. Oh, hey, look what I found in there. I, uh, I think it's blueberry pie. Why don't you eat it? Because I found it in the men's room. So, don't you eat everything? Ow. Did you just fat bash me? Hey, wait a second. Listen, I don't know what's been bugging you, but I think you should deal with your obvious problem first. And what is that? That you've turned into a freaking brat. That's not very nice. Correct. Look, what do you all want from me? We just want to help. My parents are breaking up. I'm, I'm really, really, really sorry. Now I feel worse. Damn. Look, I don't want to go home and I don't want to stay here. What am I supposed to do with myself? This is going to sound a little left brain, but why don't you do the washroom duty? I tell you my family's exploding. Your advice is to clean toilets. What else have you got to do? I think there's any more pie in there? You can hope. May I come in? Don't be ridiculous. Hey, I'm sorry for what I said earlier. Well, you called me a slutty. I'm not sure I know what that means. Jack is getting married. Oh, honey. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, did she ask me to tell you that? I will kill her. No, she had this, this stupid idea that it somehow meant we were going to be related. <laughs> Yeah, he's got himself a real winner, huh? <laughs> no, he's had his winner. He's done. That's right. Let me get you a little something. No, no, I know what I need. I'm going to go to that afternoon yoga class. <gasps> okay. But it would be really great if you weren't there. Oh, no, of course not. Okay. not... Namaste. Okay, so the fever's been for three days. Do you feel any other discomfort? Uh, yeah. I have a swelling under my arms. Okay. How's that? Oh, hurts so much. Okay. Uh, have you recently been traveling abroad? No. No. Wait. Are you sure? Am I sure? <laughs> of course I'm sure. <laughs> I haven't been able to leave my room. <laughs> I'm hearing voices. Voices? Yeah! Ouch! Wait, wait what, what, what's wrong? Oh, oh, sure pain out of my ribs. Ha! Hurt when I do that? Oh, oh. oh my god. Oh, first, okay. What? Go, go wait uh, in the hallway, please. Uh, please, go up uh, in the hallway, please, and wait for me there. Uh, oh. Uh, Stop, Richard. He so didn't get it, did he? I don't know. Just, uh, what were you giving us? Take a guess. Well, I picked up uh, lead poisoning, a pulmonary embolism, schizophrenia, and menstrual bloat. Wow, you're good. Thank you, and you are fired. Out. <sighs> are men as disgusting as women? That's a pretty general question. Yeah, I guess. How are you feeling? Well, whatever that was, gave me a little mental break. Glad to hear it. I should hang with my dad after this. Oh, yeah, I should probably go check on mine, too. He's been pretty low. I bet. Really low. Okay, you're hinting. Ask me. Okay. Why has your dad been feeling really low? Because my mom has a girlfriend. Oh, um, your mom. She's so not... Dikey, I know. So, a woman makes it worse? 
There's no way she's coming back. Do you, uh, do you want a hug? Yeah. Um. That's good. That's good. Good, good, good. Ah. Nice, nice. Oh, God damn it, that's enough! Stop pawing that woman and do your damn job! I'm sorry? Look, I'll admit, I am not the only person here who likes your attention, but this is crossing a line. I mean, you're practically molesting that woman right in front of me! Do I need to report you? Well, no, no, you don't. He's my fiancé. I'll be with you in a minute. Fine. I'll, um, I'll just do, um, child's pose. You're all set up here, Dave? Uh, yeah, pretty much. So, what are you going to talk about? I don't know. <laughs> what should I talk about? I, I guess I'll, I'll just take them through the day, you know. Tell them some war stories. War stories? Yeah, like the time you had the narcoleptic. Oh, Jerry Barron. You know, he died recently. He had a fit in the bathtub, drowned. Nobody knew where he was for three weeks. Yeah, maybe you should leave that part out. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, of course, of course. Oh. Okay, I gotta go. Neurosurgeon or city planning? Neurosurgeon. Good choice. Hey, Mr. Goldstein. Your daughter's a nice kid. She's, she's been over to the house. She's a nice girl. You did well. Thanks. Sheldon seems like a nice kid. Yeah. He's smart, huh? Yeah, I don't know where he gets it from, <laughs> but thank you. I guess we're not too popular, huh? No. <laughs> no, we're not. Federal tax officers? Yes. Yeah. All right, let's do this.